Good morning, Modern Steaders. You know what time it is? This morning I'm going to need to make some homemade pancakes to try some of our fresh homemade maple syrup. This is going to be a good one. I'm excited. Let's get some ingredients ready and then we'll go get Olivia. She can give us a hand. We went grocery shopping last night. We picked up a new box of non-GMO pancake mix. All right, this part might get a little noisy. We're gonna go into like the deep abyss of our kitchen cabinets and find our griddle. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You ready to make some pancakes? Looks like you got a mess going on in here. Yeah. You gotta make a mess to get it picked up, right? Yeah. All right. Figaro. All right, you wanna cut me off two tablespoons of butter? You know how to do that? Yeah. I'll keep it like, hold on, back up a little bit. You wanna keep it at the straight angle. Then we gotta put it in the jar so we can melt it a little bit. Awesome. All right, grab some milk. Need a cup of milk. Two cups, it says. No, we're making oh, yeah. half of that recipe because if we make that whole recipe, we're gonna make 20 to 24 pancakes. And we so don't, a cup and a fourth, or just a cup? Just, it says a little over a cup. Okay. So, oops. I need to use the blow dryer. Is that shut the door? Are you okay? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, you cut. I want you to break your egg right in there. Good job. Well, we know where it is. And we got our bread flour dough sitting here ready to go. We have a nice homemade chocolate cake that Libby's made for my birthday. It was delicious. Good job. So later on today we can bake some more bread. Mama's blow drying her hair. She's almost ready so we can have pancakes. Woohoo! Two cups. You want to grab the scissors? Cut a corner off of the bag. Yep. The flower smells good. Does it? Yeah. It smells like um, very happy. One more. It smells like graham crackers. Mm -hmm. It's light, fluffy, with a hint of sweetness made with whole grains. You just put that in there. Yep, now you gotta put in your milk mixture. And the butter. And the butter. Here, you do this, I'll get you the milk and the butter. Stir it up. Get the griddle on. You working the muscles? Mm -hmm. Now we need to get out the star of the show today. Bum, bum, bum. We want the maple syrup warmed up, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. 
Is it ready? Um, I'd say so. Say so. The griddle's ready. Okay. All right, Louise. Are we ready? Mom is making some hard boiled eggs in the instant pot. Yeah. Interesting to see how they come out. Well, I've done it before, but there's different methods, so I'm gonna try this one. Try a new one. Five, five, and five. Five minutes, five minutes, and five minutes. Sweet. Oh. They're bubbling up already, Livies. You know what that means? What do the bubbles mean? That's it almost ready to flip. Yep. When they're bubbling, it means time to flip them. Good job. Good job. I do maple syrup and butter. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, look at that butter dripping. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You want syrup on your pancakes, Livies? I will. This one's it. Yeah, you're going to do it? Okay. Maybe. Why is it like hot? Oh, you made your pancakes all stacked up pretty. Look at that. Oh, now you're not going to want to cut them into them and eat them. No, I will. Okay. I put them from biggest to smallest. Oh, you got them in order too. Look at that. Smells good. Ooh. Delicious. Now you got to ruin that beautiful masterpiece that you made. I don't think I can. You want a knife? Yeah. My stack's is the tallest. Your stack's the tallest? Oh my goodness. Does it smell like hard boiled egg? Not yet. You gotta really whiff to get a slight smell. Want me to grab your bowl? Whoa, that's pretty heavy. Oh, that one cracked. Yeah. Good thing I can peel them. All right, it's time to check in on the chicks. Shut the light off. I'm gonna refresh their water. Top off the feeder. They've eaten that food in a week and we'll clean out the feeder. And we'll fill it up with fresh water. I'm gonna get in here with the chicks. I'm gonna inspect some of them, see how they're doing health-wise. And they seem to be doing really nice. Yeah. We got Figaro locked upstairs, so we don't have to worry about them. Check and see if they got a little bit of pasty butt. We're going to clean that off. This guy's got pasty butt, so we're going to take care of that. So both of these breeds, the Novagins and the Easter Egg Layers, have been very calm chicks so far. They're quiet at night. They'll let you pick them up and hold them. They're not jumping around and being all fidgety. They're nice. If you don't know what pasty butt is, it's basically a dingleberry. Their poo gets stuck to their feathers on their rear end. And if you don't get it off, it can block their bum 
and they won't be able to go to the bathroom and they can die. So you need to keep an eye on that. And if they have a dingleberry, get some warm water. Don't soak them, but get it warm. And then you kind of just got to pull it off like a band-aid. I mean, it's not the funnest thing, but it's something that needs to get done. Right? Yeah, you're okay. You survived. All right, I'm going to clean out the water and Adam give him some more food now. The shavings are doing good still. We got the automatic water up here. I'm gonna take it apart, it just snaps apart. You give it a good rinsing. Easy to clean. I haven't done anything all week with this other than keep an eye on it. And what you saw in there for wood shavings is what's been built up in there for a week. So it's nice not having to daily or a couple of times a day keep an eye on it. My hose back up to my bucket. Alright, we're going to add our water. Some garlic and apple cider vinegar in. Big old scoop. Add it in the turbo feeder. There, now we've got good, clean, fresh water. The water's cleaned out, they got plenty of food. The best part about these products is we don't have to be doing this a few times a day. We do it, check on them daily, make sure they got plenty of food, make sure the water's flowing, and then clean it once a week. It's awesome, it's a huge time saver. We're loving our chick brooder. If you haven't seen how we made our chick brooder, I'm gonna put a link to that video right here. The products we've been using for the brooder, the feeder, the water, and the heat lamp are from Coops and More. There's a link in the description down below. If you click on that and use the promo code Lumna Acres, you get 10% off your order and free shipping. Make sure we turn the light back on. There. Now we can let the crazy cat out of the bathroom. Ready to go out? Yeah, you crazy cat. You're getting all fancy over here. It's easier. It's easier. <laughs> the, animals. the animals are being crazy. Olivia tested the filling. She was good. She did. She liked them. Just mayonnaise and a little bit of sweet pickle juice. Looks so pretty. They're good, right? Do you like And then your plate tray, because it's a pain to, uh, to transport them. Transport. Yes. And this plate fits right over the top. And then we just wrap it in a little of, uh, plastic wrap. Yep. And it's perfect. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed the pancakes okay. and the syrup. What did you think about your first experience with homemade syrup that you get to make all by yourself? Was it cool? Yeah. You didn't make it all by yourself. Okay, well, you got to help her. us make it. You didn't do it all by yourself, but you got to be part of making your own maple syrup. Now we appreciate it more when it's pretty expensive to buy. It is. <laughs> and now you know how much work goes yeah, into it. Yeah, now you're like, oh, wow. I guess that's Does it make you appreciate reason. it more? Did it taste better? Mm hmm. Yeah. You don't waste right. any drop.
That's right. right. I'm looking forward to doing it again next weekend, fingers crossed. We have the weather for it this week, and maybe we can make two gallons of syrup next weekend. Whoa. Well, thanks for coming along with our crazy journey with us. If you're new to the channel, now's a great opportunity to go on below, subscribe to the channel, and while you're there, turn on notifications. Go over to our website, lumnaacres.com, sign up for our newsletter, and remember, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Lumna Acres. Hey, guys. Tomorrow home Saturday, self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye. Say bye! Oh, bye. Bye. Because we, we all have to do it in order. Oh. Uh -oh. Daddy.